so good evening everyone so guys in the previous session uh, if you remember properly that uh, mm -hmm. that uh, we were able to deploy uh, one of the instance in one of this private subnet uh, that is our wordpress uh, server right in the production environment and uh, today we are going to focus uh, mainly into this uh, database side okay so what all types of database are there right and uh, how we are going to create database uh, for our application right for wordpress correct so before that uh, you guys have uh, any doubt all good all good sir okay so here listen each and everything very very carefully guys uh, and uh, in the last session also i told you that uh, so this is a temporary provision uh, which we have done it for uh, from uh, your internet gateway to your private route table this you can remove now uh, totally up to you okay because to download that wordpress uh, we have enabled this uh, temporary provisioning guys okay so uh, now uh, let's log in to the wordpress server so where is our wordpress this is our aws console guys let's go to we are into the ohio region right uh, let's go to ec2 uh, go to instances start this instance and if you guys remember properly that uh, we have assigned a uh, elastic ip to this wordpress server right obviously it's going to be a static ip so this is the same ip so every time you need to copy and all this is going to be same uh, every time you are going to restart the server even if you delete this server also the elastic ip is uh reserve for you so you can create another wordpress server in if in case this is for your purpose i am telling you this normally doesn't happen in production environment right and one more thing here you just see what all things we are covering guys so you see the infrastructure part this is basically this is our uh, project right and this is the project which we were following right so this is our production now we have done with the lower environment we are into production environment in production environment the uh, uh, networking part we have done most of the things right and this is zone 1 zone 2 and in zone 1 we are uh, just now we have created one of the vm only and today we are mainly going to focus on this part okay your database right which is the most important important part of uh, any environment okay and how we can create multiple or how many databases we can create right everything we are going to see today right yeah uh, so let's come over here so okay so ip is uh, 177 ends with okay so let's go over here so it's already there let's connect to this server yeah so you can see uh, we are inside uh, our server right so first thing is immediately you need to do sudo hyphen i correct so you who am i so you are root user right so which directory we need to go and see so first let's go to your uh, var right www this is our directory html right here if you go and see your wordpress is available yes or no guys correct santan or yes sir yeah this part yes sir yes yeah this part i have already explained in the last session right see here okay so uh, you are inside uh, which direct so remember this path never forgot this path guys this is very very important path uh if you are deploying your web server or wordpress okay it has to be in html folder only then only it's going to work for you right so now my question to all of you that what are the packages we need to install right so that our dynamic uh app or our dynamic website uh, we can create
what all lamp, package sir, lamp very good uh, vishal so first thing is you need to see this is a revision kind of thing i am telling you so first thing is lamp okay lamp is the stack and in lamp that is a deployment stack what all things are there in lamp stack what all things are there in linux stack? apache very good and mysql yes and php php my admin correct right now if i will ask you that apart from that what all packages we have installed in the last session so how we are going to check that one what is the first thing we need to check that what is the version of the os right slash etc os release so we are with amazon linux 2023 so whatever the installation you need to do okay for uh, this wordpress you have to go with this base linux only okay the version has to be compatible with this base linux this is the first thing now the second thing is you need to check the php version from where i need to check the php version guys from where i need to check the php version so just go to this wordpress.org download here you can see this is the wordpress which we have downloaded to this our wordpress server right so the php version has to be 7.4 or greater than that or the mysql version has to be 8.0 or maria db has to be 10.5 or greater than that so let's see that one right so for that php hyphen hyphen version right so what is the version it's running 8.3.10 fine right and what is the mysql we are running with we are running with mysql 10.5.25 right that is a maria db basically okay maria db and mysql exactly same to same not a slight difference between these two okay and uh, what next we need to check system ctl status http service right so it's up and running so uh, everything is good okay so uh, we have already uh, moved our folder okay from uh, the temp directory uh, to this directory which is required that is where uh, www uh, slash html now just do a ch own okay now the next thing is what we need to do is we need to provide full permission okay what permission we need to give guys and uh, that ownership of this the folder because since this is a apache http right so for that you need to see one thing okay just do a cat slash etc pass wd guys okay so here are you able to see this user apache apache is there right yes, sir. Correct. So you can see Nginx is also available. But what I am telling is Apache because since we have installed Apache HTTP, correct? HTTP service only for this web server, right? So this is basically your web server. So the ownership of this folder has to be with Apache only. This user only has to own these directories, correct? Then only you will be able to access this application, right? Your website, friends. To watch complete video, please join my channel membership. You can see I have four levels of my channel membership. So where you guys are going to get bronze, silver, gold and platinum. So friends in bronze, you should be able to access 20% of the member only video. And if you go with silver membership, then you should be able to access 40% of the member only video. And if you'll go with gold membership, which is most valuable and value for money my friends so where you should be able to access 80 percent of the member only video and if you wanted to go with a platinum membership where you should be able to access 100 percent of the member only video plus additional you should be able to connect with me for career counseling you can go for the mock interview i am going to help you for your resume preparation i'll provide you the roles and responsibility also as per your experience level right at the same time i am going to refer you for the organization also these are basically four level of membership which is available in my channel 
सो आई विल पुट द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन हाउ टू ज्वाइन माई चैनल मेंबरशिप सो यू कैन ज्वाइन द मेंबरशिप टू वॉच मेंबर ओनली वीडियो गाइज सो गाइज आई एम एंडिंग ऑफ द सेशन हियर ओनली लेट्स कनेक्ट अगेन ऑन मंडे फॉर द रिमेनिंग कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ योर डेटा बेस एंड ऑल सो दिस इज अ कंप्लीट ओवर व्यू आई हैव टोल्ड यू अबाउट योर डेटा बेस ओके एंड द टर्मिनोलॉजी रिलेटेड टू द डेटा बेस इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन विल बी कॉन्फिगरिंग अवर डेटा बेस एंड विल डिप्लॉय आवर फाइनल डायनेमिक वेबसाइट्स एंड ऑल ओके ओके सो जस्ट टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ योर लव वन बाय एंड जय हिंद